life of a test pilot like Joe Lancaster at the controls of this sleek Royal Navy fighter, the Seahawk, is a hazardous one. With experimental planes particularly, it's often the unknown element that brings sudden disaster. But today, these risks are being reduced to the barest minimum at aircraft factories all over the world. And at the Armstrong Whitworth Works near Coventry, brilliantly constructed models are being made alongside the real production lines, especially for these experiments. Models made from Honduras mahogany are used for the low-speed wind tunnel tests. But for aircraft that have to withstand enormous pressures, models are made from solid blocks of stainless steel worked to one-tenth of a thou of an inch. Otherwise, at supersonic speeds, any errors would be greatly exaggerated on the real plane. Here, by the way, nylon strips are used to give a general picture of the direction of wind pressure. Working to these extreme degrees of precision on models like the Hawker Hunter, which can cost several thousand pounds, the men have to rely on instruments such as the modelometer, which measures to one-tenth of a thou of an inch. The model enthusiasts will notice, incidentally, that the Hunter is a one-hundredth scale replica. Among the models made here for the government and other aircraft firms are miniature rockets and guided missiles, many so secret that the department is sealed off and guarded by security police. Some of the tests most fascinating to the layman are conducted in the supersonic wind tunnel. In this one, a hunter, already painted white, is coated with lamp black so that at speeds approaching and above Mach 1, the speed of sound, the stresses and strains on wings and fuselage will be clearly indicated. A simple idea with far-reaching results, it remains a tribute to the backroom boys who play such a vital part in the advancement of the British aircraft industry.